How you doing YouTube? Matt Master Beer Reviews back with re-review. Beer that I have not reviewed in a while, but a beer that I love so much that I actually haven't had in a while. And that'd be some Treehouse Julius. Um, I am Team Julius. I have been since day one. Um, I've always dug this beer, but I haven't had it in a while. And it's somehow eluded me. I don't really chase beers, and not that I necessarily chase Julius, but I kind of, if I can get some, if I see it pop up places, I'm always like, ah, let me get some of that. But uh, I haven't really seen it or the where it's popped up too far away. And the one time I when I come back on my uh, honeymoon and they pretty much are making Julius 24-7, it runs out like eight people before me. So it is what it is. But I was given a can by my buddy Keith. Thank you very much. It's super freshy, about a week old. And it says nothing left to do but smile, smile, smile. And um, as you notice, it is Julius with the OG sticker um, that they used to do back in the day. It doesn't really denote anything. It's still the same ABV. It's nothing different other than it's brewed in Charlton as opposed to Munson. Um, yeah, there's no location on the sticker. I'm not sure if they had one back in the day. I asked if there's anything different about it. Everybody told me no, but a lot of people told me they might be doing the sticker thing just to kind of drive sales because people kind of dig the old school labels. I don't know. But we're going to drink it. I actually like the old school label. It is what it is. So... Come Julius up in you. So yeah, I can't remember the last time I had this. I'd be interested to go into it. And I've had a decent amount of treehouse beers, um, just from people who have sent me beers, uh, from viewers to friends and things like that. It's just, you know, I've had quite a bit of, of uh, their stuff, just no Julius. I think it's one of those beers where it's like, it's readily available, so a lot of people kind of, not necessarily throw it to the side, but kind of like, eh, he's not going to want that. I, he's had Julius before. But no, send me all the Julius. Um, index finger. Um, nah, it's not white. It's not khaki. It's kind of like a tint of orange colored head. Nice creaminess to it. Pretty uniform bubble. She got that haze, baby. She looks like classic hazy treehouse Julius. Get a nose on her. Yeah, I mean that rich OJ vibes. It, it's 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 slightly kind of like um, it's slightly Sunny D in vibes, but not in a synthetic way. More of like you were trying to duplicate Sunny D but with fresh ingredients. There's a really fresh, bright green to it. It's it's not like a stinging. It's more like perfumey. The green is coming off, so you're getting a soft green on the back end. Very very light, but enough to kind of bounce off a bit of that sweetness. But it's much sweeter on the nose than bittering and green, and just gives you that kind of rich, um, like I said, OJ kind of citrus kind of vibe. Definitely kind of a little bit sweeter than not confirmed concentrate. It's more like fresh, like I said, kind of sunny D vibes all around. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. That's so tasty. Yeah, that's such a good beer. I mean, there's this nice, rich kind of maltiness to it that I, I don't think I ever really talked about that when he did it in the past. There's this like soft, rich, grainy maltiness I, in a good way. It has a super fluffy creaminess and that nice, soft maltiness that kind of add to the to that. It's all adding up in the body. It's all adding up to balance off all those hops that do come off a bit sweet, not necessarily as sweet as that Sunny D thing as I talked about in the nose. Comes off a little bit less sweet, but still more of a sweetened kind of orange juice as opposed to straight orange juice. You're dropping a lot of that OJ acidity out of there, giving you a little bit of green on the side to kind of just give you this beautifully balanced. I'll be up a little bit, a little bit weighed in one side with that a little bit hmm. weighted to one side and that citrus component that orange I, 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 I keep calling that citrus it's orange it's not it's not grapefruit you know what I mean it's not like lime or lemon it's orange it's orange juice it's all depth of those it's a little bit you know tangerine and orange and all the kind of orange based kind of citrus fruits kumquats um, things like that it's, it's giving you all that kind of stuff and a really nice relatively balanced package I should say rather than a nice balance I dig it and I get why I am Team Julius, to be perfectly honest with you. Because I've had haze, and I've had green and more often than I've had Julius as of late. And I'm like, oh, I tasted them, and I go, you know what? Maybe, maybe I've flipped. Maybe I've flipped to the other side. Maybe I am Team Green. 
But no, 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 I'm still Team Julius. Uh, it, it just, it, it just, even though that green component, when done well, really, really does me proper and probably does me proper more than that sweet kind of pseudo fruit citrus thing. The way this lays it out, the way it has that softness, the way the yeast dries your mouth on a little bit, the way that actual, like, the OJ plays and multi-levels of kind of orangeness. I dig it. It's a super tasty beer. Mmm. Wait, I forgot. I'm not supposed to like this beer because it wasn't made in Munson. Fuck. Fuck this video up. Um, but seriously, it's a great beer. It's always been a great beer. Has there been variants? I'm sure there has. Especially with growing pains of the brewery. But at the same time, I'm sure there has even before they moved. But this is an absolutely fantastic beer. This is probably one of, if not the best beer I've ever had from Treehouse. I mean, OG Double Shot. You know, there's been ones that have really done me proper. Um, Lights on, you know, uh, some of their classics. Here. Even Eureka with Citrus. I just, the Citra, I love those beers. But this one is just going to be, you know, near and dear to my heart. It's one of the first ones I ever had. But it's not the first one I ever had. So, I don't know. I just love it. I dig it. So, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better IPAs I've had as of late? Yes, it is. It still is. I and mean, it always has been. And it's nice to go back into it. Albeit with a preconceived notion because I expected something out of it, but delivered to, to those high expectations. Still one of the better um, IPAs I've had ever. Um, value and availability, you know, yeah, I think it's actually relatively cheap. It's less than 20 bucks for four pack. Just north of it. I want to say two and change a can. Does that make sense? No. It's got to be more than that. I don't know. Three bucks a can? Even at that, I'd be $12. No, it's got to be more than that. But it's not that expensive. It's not as expensive as a lot of these kind of sticker can hazies that come out nowadays. Um, and uh, if you like what... Brewery only, sorry. And if you like what we like this, if you like just OJ level hops in your beer with nice bouncing bitterness and just a super fucking delectable mouthfeel, you'll love this beer because it's fucking fantastic. So there you go. Another review in the books. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing uh i already said the podcasting stuff but that's where you check me out doing this uh, whole podcasting stuff interviewed dean from treehouse a while ago you can go check that out you know, this is yammering and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hope i'm enjoying a nice little julius right now hope we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>